Namaskara. I'm Madhu Viradagwan. I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor of Management, Law, Humanities and Social Sciences at Manipal University and also the Pro Vice Chancellor of the Mahe Bangalore campus. You know, I've been part of the Mahe ecosystem for a decade and ever since I've been a silent but a very sincere observer of the amazing work that the Hebar Art Gallery produces. Who would have ever thought that or known in fact that I would be directly put in charge to look after the fruiting and the flowering of this amazing place. Well, as they all say, the world conspires, the universe conspires. Over the last several years, I've been able to see some amazing work the Art Gallery has put together. There's been a congregation of musicians, artists, uh, teachers, and the connoisseurs of the performance and fine arts. The amazing place that we have in today, the Art Gallery, has a spectacular landscape. It's got a beautiful auditorium. It's got lectures, festivals. It's got spaces for everybody, be it workspace, fun space, participation space, and so on and so forth. Every year on 15th of June, we celebrate and honor the life and work of Sri K.K. Hebar. And why not? He was born here. He cut his teeth here. This place has given the world's finest artists and therefore it is absolutely necessary to be able to talk about his work and talk about all his contributions. One of the things I would propose today and being a great auspicious day is to say to Mahe and to all of us that let's start two very important things. The first being a very special art festival which is basically talk, to talk about the Mahe portrait artist of the year and the second is to talk about uh, a short film competition, both of which are open to all students and Indian nationals around the country and around the world. I would also propose that in the honor of Sri K.K. Hebar, we also propose a Mahi Literary Festival. And why I say this is because the actual Mahi calendar, the annual events calendar, has got to be in alignment with the National Arts Almanac. And that is necessary for us. To all the students, I would say this, that universities beyond books, beyond classrooms, beyond your lectures and assignments and exams. It's about you broadening your perspective. It's about you understanding the journey, it's what we call self-discovery. It is necessary to look at why great universities have art spaces. Think about Harvard, think about Stanford, think about Princeton, Emory, Duke, Wisconsin-Madison, Dartmouth, Kansas, Michigan State. All these places have great art galleries. And to all of you students who are part of the Mahe family, I strongly suggest come, spend some time and see the amazing work. It's just not beauty for the eyes, it's also great inspiration for the soul. I think Thomas Merton once said, you know, we find ourselves in art, we lose ourselves in art. So I hope I can take the opportunity to tell that we want to have a lot of participatory opportunity for the public to come and participate in art festivals, to come and visit this amazing place, enjoy, learn, appreciate the artistic work of Shri K.K. Hebar. Thank you very much.